Hello there. So if you already downloaded the case, remember you can download the cases here. You have the links. Okay, so download the cases. You should have a folder like this. And inside this folder, you, you are going to have this uh, data structure. So you're going to have it's the zip files. Now you start and you're going to have the fluid mesh and work, workbench case. Okay, so first we're going to work here in the workbench case. So as you enter here, you have this case and let's open this case. Remember, it's, it's, we're, we're using uh, ANSYS uh, Workbench 2021. So I will launch it here. I already have the shortcut in my desktop. So it's important that for, uh, you can put this case anywhere in your in, 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 in your computer. OK, so I have my location here. So I just copy there and let's wait while uh, ANSYS Workbench opens. Okay, so we have the workbench here. So we already addressed uh, how to move here, but just to remind you that here you have made uh, all the applications that you have access, okay? So in our case, we want to create geometry mesh and run the simulation. So you have two ways to do that. First, see here that you have an analysis system. You can go here and you can select fluent flow, uh, flu flow fluent. And see here that you have all the steps, geometry, mesh, setup, solution, and results, okay? So you can use this one, or you can use the other one that is the one I prefer. So the one I prefer is here. You go here in component system, and you just drag and drop. Drag it here, geometry. Then after you generate the geometry, you want to generate the mesh. You have the mesh there. And then you want to connect it with Fluent. And you have Fluent there. Then what is what, what I like about this one that you can duplicate cases. So if you have a geometry, one single geometer you, you want to create different meshes, you just click there, yes, duplicate, and see that now you are just copying this mesh here and you can generate a different mesh. Okay, so you can select different, many selections there, and then you can duplicate with it there. So you select many, many boxes. So it's up to you to choose a workflow. I, I, I will use this one. Okay, this is the one I like to use. It's also very convenient when you are doing a parameterization and stuff like that. Okay, so let's delete everything. Also, you can rename this. Okay, so if you want to rename there, feel free to do that. So let me erase everything to start from scratch. So the first step is to generate the geometry. So let's revisit here what we're going to do. It's basically, this is the geometry that we have. Okay, so we have pi diameter 0 0.1 meters and pi lens 2 meters, okay, uh, 7 meters. So let's let's create the, the geometry, okay? Which should be relative ease, okay? It's two D. Remember, then we go three D. So that's the first step. Drop geometry there. So you can save your project here. You go file, save as, and save it. I recommend you just to save it every now and then. So in this case, let me save in desktop. I will call it test one, okay? So inside that folder. Okay, uh, it's going to save a lot of files. Okay, so you want to see the files that you have there, you go into view, files, and see here that it's telling you the files that you have. Okay, you can have geometry, mesh, fluent cases, everything is giving you the, the location. Okay, so for the moment, we don't have anything. We have the, 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 the basic case, but now we're going to create the geometry. So to create the geometry, right click here, and I want just to let you know that there are, uh, uh, Workbench comes with two tools to create the geometry: a space clean and design modeler. So, design modeler is a fully parametric CAD. A space clean is a solid modeling tool. It's very powerful, but it's not full. It's not fully parametric as CAD software. Okay, so you know, if you have used it, you know CAD software, and if you love love those features, now that you have parametric history and everything, you don't have that here. But it's very flexible. But you can also get your your, your way around. So here we'll show you how to do this, how to use design modeler. Okay, so right click and select design modeler. Okay, so this one is going to open this new interface. Okay, so we have we are here in our 
interface okay the design modeler and see that we have the classical here the cam the canvas the three space the 3d space you can move here you have many options here selection if you have you if you have used cat social you know that this is the basic options to create solids okay you have many options so i'm not going into details just play around here here you have also create you can create different entities concept tools so we're going to visit a few of these options the first thing is that in in in, in in, 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 when you're using this cat, you need to choose a design plane. Okay, so by default, a uh, design modeler is giving you these planes. See that you can design here and here. So let me choose this one here. Okay, see that is showing you here. And I want to draw a sketch here. Okay, so, so I go here now, see new sketch. Now you can draw a sketch here. So since this is something that probably is not very intuitive to design 3D solids you need to start from 2d sketches okay in this case remember that we're going to do a 2d geometry so we need to design a surface but then when we move to the 3d case to the design this pie or any 3d geometry you need to to start from 2d sketch to the sketches and then you do stuff like extrusion revolve uh sweep or skin love these actions okay that you can control your solids and then also you have boolean operations to intersect different solids so let's go here and let's design this sketch okay so i want to design this one i want to be normal to the screen so pre press there and now that you are here you move to the sketching tools okay so these are the 3d tools okay so you have the three out, out, 3d out, outline and all the parametric operations and this is the sketching tools okay where you you have all the tools related to to the to the sketch. So let's draw the geometry. Okay, so this geometry is very simple. Remember, it's 2D. Okay, so it will be a rectangle. So you can do it line, okay, one line at, at a time, or select a rectangle. I will do it like this. I select the rectangle. Okay, I don't care about the dimensions. Okay, so you have the the, the wheel. You can zoom in, zoom out, zoom out. See that if I go here, you see the P that appears there. There, it means that you are perfectly on the origin. So I like to, to, to sketch everything in the zero, zero, zero coordinates. Okay. There is no restriction, but usually it's a good idea you now to, to, to sketch something with reference to, to the origin or, or, or have a datum in your domain. So I will do like this, click and, and click. So you have that there. Okay. So see that this is your rectangle and now let's give dimensions. Okay. So let me give dimensions. So to give dimensions, see that you have always the sketching tools here, you have dimensions. So that here, for instance, general, select this, see that H1 and give the dimension. So H1, remember that is in meters, seven, and now general also, select this one, see that you have it there. And let's say that we have 0 0.05, I'm going to use here the symmetry, okay? So it's just half the pipe, okay? And this is fully parametric. So if at any point you want to change this one, just put the new value and you are, you are set. So let me use this one. And here you have the sketch. So see that you have also here the quotes, okay? So these are your dimensions. So sometimes you click here, you cannot move. If you want to move or delete, delete a dimension, you have the options here. So if you want to move, it's better to select move there, click, and then you can move it and put it closer you know, to your geometry. Okay, again, it's something that, well, it's not a problem. It's not computer, but sometimes you, know, you are sketching might happen that that this reference dimension is something far. Okay, so just to make things clear. Okay. So this is all, okay? We have the geometry here. Okay, very simple. Later in tutorial three and four, we're going to see, we're going to do things a little bit more complicated. So we have the sketch and we can go back to the modeling uh, option. So here you see modeling tab and we're done here. So see that this is sketch. Now what we need to do is convert this sketch into a surface. So see that if I go here into concept, you have many options. So what we want to do now is create surfaces from sketches. You select this sketch. See here that is base object. You select, apply, and you are ready to go. So here you have a few options, act material, act frozen. I recommend you to use act frozen and see this lighting here means that requires this, this requires so update to update or to generate. Just click here 
and see that now you have a surface. So see here that you have the auction, you have the surface. And as you go here, the, the, the parts that you have in the current design now, you have one part, okay? One part, one body, okay? This is a surface body. You can change the name there. Also, you can change if you want to be fluid, solid. This is not compulsory, but I like to put it fluid there always. So see that you have there. So this is all the case. See, very simple, just to, to, to give you a head out. So see that, for instance, you want to create a, a 3D solid, you can do an extrusion of what? Of this, select there, and then select the length here. So I want to do this extrusion 0 0.2, and then you have the solid. Then you can sketch in this phase and so on and do whole. So this is how, how, how you work. Okay, for the moment, let me raise this one right click okay so okay let me generate let me go okay okay to erase is here extrude delete and erase so i i have my surface there okay uh so see here that for instance you want to update this surface just go select there sketching and then you can update this one 0 0.2 generate and see that automatically whatever you have done it will be updated okay so it's fully parametric okay very powerful so very powerful concept in parametric CAD now when you are doing this kind of geometries and you want to parameterize or do optimization so here we have the geometry and at this point we're ready to go nothing else to do okay so probably let me add this one let me call it let's say pipe Okay, I changed the, the name here. So very important also when you move to mesh, uh, to mesh to the next step here, you need to have a one single pipe. Okay, for the moment, you can have more complicated, uh, uh, more complicated structures there, but for the moment, just focus on having one single uh, surface or solid here. And this is all, okay? So as you close here, then save, you have the geometry, and now we can move to mesh okay so again come here view file see that now you have a new file this is the geometry and you you, ha you you have it there so if you want to go there you can click there copy share that file okay so now let's move to mesh okay so to do the mesh remember you select here the mesh and drop it here and now you are exporting this geometry into into the mesh so at this point let's move to the mesh okay that will be the next video Okay, so I hope you find it useful, quite easy. Okay, it seems a very easy problem, but you see that the importance is that we have valid a lot of validation data. Okay, so let's move to the image and see you in the next video. Bye.